do the super links. What's all? What are you doing out here, Wanda? I was feeling nostalgic and wanted to visit some old haunts. This is where it all started, you know? Where Agatha decided to take me under her wing and teach me all the magic tricks I wasn't supposed to know. Hmm. I had a similar experience. You did? Yes. This is where Agatha showed me how to use the word of power. When did she do that? When her spirit first made herself known to me. Makes sense. She always believed in you, you know. Talked about you all the time. Me? There was a lot of pressure to live up to your legend. Wanda, what was Agatha teaching you exactly? I'm not so sure you want to know. Or I want to tell you. Well, why? There is no reason to be scared of telling me, Wanda. I already did all the wood of powers. Side. Okay, here it goes. Agatha thought I could prevent the Midnight Sun. Prevent the prophecy. Oh. She said that? I think... I think she was training me to be... Oh. Eva. To be... You. Wait, wait. Do you mean to say she was training you to be... The hunter? To be me? That's what she just said, Basically, yes. Yes. You know, I think you would make a fine hunter. Oh, come on. No one here can do what you do. Well. Except for you, maybe. Well, luckily for us all, we don't have to find out. My girl Nico resurrected you. So it's not all left to me to screw up. And believe me, Hunter, I would have screwed it up. No, you would have been I fine. Been able to trust myself enough to go back to the library and continue my studies, even knowing Agatha forgives me. She does forgive and wants nothing more than for you to reach your full potential. You know that. Yeah, I guess I do. It's just, I still have a lot of guilt and shame to work through. Wanda, you should never be ashamed of or feel guilty about your gifts. Let me help you work through your fears and become more comfortable standing in your power. You would do that for me? When I am done with you, Wanda, your knowledge of the arcane will surpass even Dr. Spooky himself. Mm. All right, deal. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Level three. Do we not have? Oh, okay, I do. It's green. Okay. And I thought the smog in LA was bad. Yeah, I don't think we should be breathing this air. It's gamma radiation. It's fine to breathe, as far as I know. Yes, but it gives the sky quite a beautiful tinge of color, doesn't it? Like the sky before a storm. Anyone want to tell me what I'm looking at? The storm is almost here. And so is the Midnight Sun. The prophecy is almost complete. Kathan is making his way into our dimension. Not if I have anything to do with it. Let's go inside. We have work to do. Huh. Okay. Gotta talk to Banner. Bruce. How was your first night? Hunter, we should uh I should speak with you about what you did to me. Okay. Is that an accusation? Of course not. Uh, I am grateful, of course. It has been so long since I've thought for myself. I was so focused on understanding what was happening with the Hulk. 
That obsession was how I stumbled onto... to her. And by then it was too late. I always thought myself capable of... Well, does it even matter? I made a choice, and the world paid for it. The Hulk is not to blame for once. All this destruction was the work of Bruce Banner. Mm, mm, mm. I understand you more than you know. That's different. Early in life, you were infused with a power greater than you could control. You fought against the darkness within your whole life, with allies at your side to ground you. From what little I know of your past, you just described the both of us. That's different again. I'm old enough to know better. If I'm truly the fourth smartest person on Earth... The fourth? How could I make such an unjustifiable... Behind who? Dr. Reed? We all make Stark? Choices. Who's the third one? What matters is how we rebuild. Who is the third one? Oh, I'm interested. I can see why your mother thinks so highly of you. I can Reed still Richards, her, you know. Tony Stark. Even though you freed me from her influence, hmm. she still resides in the head. How? I removed the stain of Lilith's corruption. My irradiation keeps me attuned to her thoughts and feelings. Not all of them, but enough. I imagine... At this moment... The list is... Grows as the Reed Richards... Does the link go both uh, Shuri, Tony, and then Bruce. The Abbey? Right? I don't the know. Abbey is open to her, Hunter. She can breach it whenever she desires. That cannot be possible. When Wanda chased you and the others through Limbo, she pierced the Abbey's barrier. That was all Lilith needed to enter. If she has known that long, why not attack the Abbey directly? Haven't you figured it out? She doesn't want to win. Hmm. Explain your theory. I already told you I can... Pardon the simplified expression. Read her mind. This isn't theory. These are her thoughts. Whatever her plans entail, they involve more than just killing the lot of you. Of a... Of us. <clears throat> Dr. Banner. Please, call me Bruce. Bruce? In all the time I have known you, I realize how little I know about you. You know about the Hulk? Would you mind telling me about Bruce? yourself? Not at all. My life is an open, irradiated book. May I ask you about the Hulk? Of course. When did you first transform into the Hulk? Years ago. I worked on a device based on Howard Stark's original Gamma Accelerator. There was an accident. And I soaked up so much radiation, I should have died on the spot. Instead, it unleashed a green-skinned manifestation of rage from within me. When I came to my senses, I realized what I'd become. I knew I couldn't be around people. To lose control like that, it still terrifies me. Yet, when I become angry or subjected to intense pain, Bruce Banner retreats for the duration. Hmm. Are you and the Hulk different people, or is he an aspect of your personality? I've heard contradictory conjecture from hundreds of experts. You see, I'm psychologically fascinating. Everyone has a pet theory. Well, what is the truth? At this point, I think of the Hulk as a different person. Yet I also take full responsibility for his actions. It's... Well, it's why I betrayed him so deeply by working with Lilith. I'm supposed to be the responsible one. In a way, I'm his keeper. He doesn't really understand what happened, but... I decided on his behalf, like I always do. And very nearly killed his friends. Does the Hulk have any thoughts about Lilith? He finds her... <clears throat> There's some... <laughs> Damn it. Attraction. Damn it, Hulk. Has the hots for my mother? Yes, but he remembers she tried to hurt his friends. That makes him angry. Oh. And for the Hulk, anger always wins out. I had questions about the Avengers. Go ahead. What led the Hulk to join the Avengers? 
The way Tony tells it? They spent so much time stopping the Hulk from destroying cities, they offered him a job so they could keep tabs on him. But really, they need Bruce Banner. Yes, the Hulk is good to have around when Ultron attacks or scrolls invade. But my expertise gives the Avengers Secret invasion? A edge. And what is that? Did that also already happen? Ahead, develop contingencies and worst case scenarios. Solve impossible equations. I'm the only one who thinks it all through. Well, I was. What do you think of your fellow Avengers? Before all this? The Hulk and I respect Steve. Strange is fine, but he can aggravate the Hulk. Carol and I don't see eye to eye about where the Avengers should focus our efforts. Still, we're friends outside of work. Plus, she knows how to make Hulk laugh. And Thor? I always appreciate Where's his Thor? charm. Anyway. The Hulk likes him because he doesn't need to pull his punches when they're play fighting. What about Tony? Ah, Tony. He knows full well the Hulk can reduce him to a fine soul of a mist. Yet he constantly pokes and prods. You think he was trying to provoke me. But we both respect him for that. He treats us like any other person. He knows what we are, and he's not afraid. Will the Avengers forgive you for what you did? Hmm. Usually I wake up to discover what terrible damage the Hulk has caused. The team always understood and supported me in their way. This, it's a very different situation. I mean, they better. Ask if they will forgive me. I don't know if they should. But is it possible? It's possible. But if so, it won't be soon. Nor should it be. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you, Hunter. I, it took me far too long to find my place. I'm glad it was, um, I'm glad it was here. Hunter, we need to talk You're right. the forge immediately. I was just coming down there. After I talk to Robbie. Feeling good today, girl. Robbie? Why is Robbie in shop class? Damn it. The slumbering giant beneath the darkest of holes. The a couple people here. Banner, Kathan, Wanda, or D Four to be exact. Option E for other. What? After your third or so apocalypse, you never know what's going to come out of left field at the last second. Either way, hell's coming. Hells are always coming, Blade. There's no just one hell anymore. I gotta go check in on Ant Man MJ. And maybe the rest of the neighborhood. I don't know, Queens? No, Spider Man. The more hell we keep focused on us, the less hell there is everywhere else. We're holding Lilith's attention to keep others out of harm's way. We can't split up now. Okay, everyone just said different things to me, and I'm not sure which one to respond to. How about we change topics to this? I think it's safe to say that maybe we got this is a safe thing to say. That was a long walk with a lot of caveats. Bravo for that, Nugget Ghost Rider. P, how many times I gotta tell you? Do not sit on the hell ride. That all I came here for, man. Waste of time. I'm at the forge. What's needed? And it was glowing this way when you walked in here. Yes, it's like something flipped it on, as if it's preparing for the midnight sun. I think that's precisely what it's doing. It knows its owner is coming back to pick it up, and it wants to look good. Yes, that's an excellent way to put it. I know a thing or two about magic artifacts, especially if they're swords. So I have observed. Perhaps when we take a breather, you can explain to me exactly how your portal spell works. It appears to be quite effective. No. You want to talk shop? You got it. 
But watch yourself. I might end up becoming the Sorcerer Supreme one of these days. Funny. I don't feel threatened. In fact, nothing would make me happier. That what you call me down here for? Our time has almost run out, Hunter. If we're ever going to find out what this god killer can do, Tony and I need to start researching it now. I know you and Tony will be able to find something helpful. Because the alternative is too grim to consider. The end. All right. Then let us find out what this god killer is all about. Excellent. You know what to do at the end. Oh, you could just do it yourself without Please me having to tell you. Oh, you are <sighs> the god killer. Do your thing. What's up? This is some of my best work. Quick toss. Find more coil, send it my way. Okay. I guess now it's just. Hmm. Go do some. I'll go do some then. Fine. Oh. Shield saying the green skies are just a normal atmospheric event. This is not an Avengers level threat. I don't remember being consulted on that decision. Do you, Steve? After this, I am so done with clandestine quasi government organizations. Cover up or not, we have to present a united front and follow Fury's play. Yeah, hard pass. We gotta tell the world the truth, or we lose the trust of anyone with a camera or access to social media. Which, last I checked, is the population of Earth. Woof, I've been there. Nobody cares about the truth. Huh. Nobody believes a primordial god is about to wake up and devour the universe. We believe it. Because you've seen it, Rogers. But I remember calling the Avengers hotline with the same story and getting nowhere. Everyone laughed at me. Well, not everyone. I still haven't heard back from Cloak and Dagger. Oh, Cloak and Dagger. This is no time to quibble over PR statements and cover up. Nico's right. We can contradict Shield and tell the truth, but most people aren't going to buy it. Save the damage control spin for after we banish Cathan. If we banish Cathan. Good to see everybody working together. I'm at a loss, Wanda. Hydrate. So, the midnight sun has arrived. Despite our best efforts, threatening to end the lives of millions. And Cathan is threatening to consume the whole planet, ending even more. Yes, I know. But as Wanda so compassionately pointed out, there are people in desperate need of help out there. Our help. It's my strong opinion we should save as many souls as possible before confronting Lilith. What does that mean? I agree. Life is too precious. We must save Is that a nod? This is the final mission? I thought you'd agree. Hydra is everywhere. Where should I go first? That's up to you. But I do want you to bring Banner. He needs to get back out there. Get some wins. Before our final showdown with Lilith. Ever since I learned of the Hulk's existence, I have dreamed is this like a side by side with pack your bags? Well, this is the final mission. Do everything you need to do now. I will kind of thing. Final decision to you, but you know my opinion. Oh, and Hunter. Hmm. Happy hunting. Hmm. Don't just stand there. There are lives out there that need saving. Wait a minute. Why is there somebody want to talk? Oh. Oh. I can quick run over there. Cool. 
cool, calm, and collected, considering the circumstances. Keeping a cool head is kind of my thing, but you know that. I'm telling you, Hunter, I don't know what's coming next, but I do know when the shit hits the fan with Gathan, there's no other place I'd rather be than parked right here with my friends. Hmm. Carol is lucky to have you in her life. More like I'm lucky to have her. Thing that sucks about love is that it just gives you something to lose. That's why we got to make the most of the good times while we can. Because when the shit gets unreal, we might not have any time left. Both you and Blade seem rather unfazed about the imminent invasion of this dimension by a homicidal elder god. Oh, this is not the worst Armageddon scenario I've lived through. Just how many have you been through, Carol? You mean the end of this world, or are we talking other planets too? All of the above. Let's put it this way. I lived through a time literally called the Age of Apocalypse. Oh, we've already faced that Apocalypse as well. rather stressful. It was, but there comes a point in every cataclysmic event when you just have to First let First mutant. Or, I don't know. Roll with it. All you have to do is be ready to fight for what you care about when the time comes. So, I am taking it you will be fighting for your cat, Chewie? Hunter, you remembered my fur baby's name. How could I forget? Chewie's my only on-planet family. So yeah, call me a crazy cat lady, but I am not going to let some hangry elder god eat my cat. Oh, Charlie. Dog. Not on my watch. That's right. We must all draw a line in the sand somewhere. Pet eating is definitely mine. I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't worry about what you can't control. You'll face Lilith soon enough. What should I do between now and then? How you spend your possibly last moments on this version of Earth is your choice. I, for one, have always been curious about what's really under the hood of Robbie's ride. And tonight, I'm determined to find out. Okay. The best way for me to help Aunt May, MJ, everyone back home is to be here. But being here, I just wish I was back with them. They worry about me. But the only way to ensure nobody gets hurt is to throw myself at the big, scary, Lilith-shaped problem. We are defenders. No way, you were in the defenders too? Doctor Strange recruited me once, but he told me it was a secret. We were secret defenders. Oh, wait, does that mean I shouldn't have told you? No, oh, pretend I didn't say anything. It is not easy, Peter. With or without a mask, people worry about us, and we worry about them. Sounds about right. I just wish I could warn them, you know? Something. I'm not even sure demonic horde is the appropriate term. I gotta ask Nico for a refresher on occult terminology. How do you feel about taking down an elder god? Can't run from the devil, as my abuelita would say. So better grab it by the horns and, uh, well, the, the next part isn't safe for work. My abuelita is a real spark plug. And are you prepared for the less desirable scenario where we do not make it? Nope. I'm in complete denial. It's gonna go like this. Save the world, go home, give my brother a big hug, throw a barbecue for the neighborhood. Mm. Do you not have greater aspirations? Trust me, after you defeat a deity, you will be hungry for your next challenge. What? You got another dark god up your sleeve? You're hard to impress, Hunter. Beating this one's gonna give us street cred for ages. Perhaps, but you can do much more. Fend off supernatural threats, safeguard Earth from a foreign invasion, or even simply be your town's protector. Sounds like a lot of extra work. I see why Blaze didn't like avenging. 
<laughs> and how are you passing the time until our big moment? I tuned the hell ride for the fourth time. I read the last page of all my comics just in case. And, uh, you know, trying to be chill before my head catches fire. Maybe I should do a fifth to help you. Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? A new hunter hairstyle. Sure, Thanks, I can hunter. do that. I'll do that right now. New colors. Anyway, uh, hairstyle. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Well, back on over. Let's see what we can do. Here's a main mission. Hello? Main mission. I guess there's no main mission. You're looking stronger. Oh, I guess I have to wait for the thing to be done. We're ready to make a move. Ew. What is that? Ew. I will do as you wish. That's so. Is that really the Hulk's like? Ew. What? Oh shit, Maestro. A cap shield. Imagine those are Ghost Rider chains. Well, this goose right his head there. Was it Iron Man's thing? Captain Marvel's sash. Spider Man's thing. Nico's th thing. The swords are those. Are those the Hunter swords? Who's also that? Better not be mine. What's what's in the middle there? Is that supposed to be like Stranger's Eye of Agamotto? Something? The default Hulk is ugly. Guess I'll just do something. Ooh. What's the other one? Do any of these give me um artifact? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one. I'm gonna take the Hulk, see how he plays. And we're gonna take. Ulvi. That it? Hulk is pretty strong. Oh, I go down to the oh wrong way. Oh. Anyone down for a last movie before the end of the world? Um, yes. Let me log into the author's Watch Max Plus account. We did this at Xavier's once. Had Ride of the Valkyrie stuck in my head for a week. It was fine till the Sentinels attacked. Oh, the Sentinel then, oh, it was my. cool. Why do all the talking kitten cartoons have five hearts? Oh, Piotr, you big softy. Okay, the movie we're watching tonight is none other than... Summer Camp Tango! 
Me and Maria rehearsed every move in this film. Yeah, my cousins forced me to watch it every summer, so I'm very much into this idea. Good for you guys. Hunter, want to watch a bad 80s movie with us before we face a hungering elder god? Entertainment on the eve of battle? Yes. Yay, for fun! Ileana keeps a limbo fully stocked, so refreshments are a portal away. Just ask. Quiet, quiet. Oh, Here we go. Friendships. Clint and Natasha always referenced the slobs against the snobs. Never understood what it meant. Until recently, it could have been the Midnight Suns against the Avengers. That makes Tony the snob. And Nico is definitely the slob. Eh, I'll own it. Good for you. <laughs> Damn it, so good. play logic to a crappy 80s movie. Hey, I didn't say anything about the shape-shifting aliens plan to judge the dance contest. I just want to know how the slobs plan to push that much chili through the sprinkler system. With enough pressure, you can push chili through anything. Don't ask me how I know that. Ugh, of course the head counselor is a Russian spy. Yup, it's an 80s movie. How much did Soviet Russia care about teen hijinks? More than you think. Now that's a dance contest. Hmm. Okay, I see the appeal. Ah, uh, it's magical. Magic is the one thing this movie didn't have. But you liked it anyway because it is heartwarming, Pablum. Maybe. Spoke to Caretaker and Agatha. Where are they? The God Killer has been displaying some strange behavior. You mean besides the glowing? Yes, besides the glowing. Um, this concerns you directly, I think. I've noticed whenever you're in its presence, the artifact begins to almost pulsate like it comes alive for you. What do you make of that? Whatever it means, we have to hope it is a good thing. Because the alternative... Would be yet another potentially world-ending threat for us to deal with. And this one would be right here under our noses. Is it still safe for me to pick up? I suspect you're the only one of us who can. I don't think the God Killer wants anyone else touching it. I will just pray that is a good thing. Does it look like you're dragging a bit? Want another can of Stark Drive? I'm, uh, still working on my first one. Been one hell of a wild ride, hasn't it, Hunter? It is about to get wilder. You know, when I graduated MIT summa cum laude, I knew I was destined to found a billion dollar tech empire. But if you told me I would one day trade in my state-of-the-art Avengers lab for a demon-powered forge in a haunted abbey, and my Nobel Prize winning staff of scientists for Dr. Spooky and the Jolly Green Giant, I'd have told you I didn't believe in fairy tales. Funny. How is the Babylonian fire demon who powers this forge? What is their name again? Babs, and don't you forget it. <laughs> they don't like it when you get their name wrong. I see. So, how is Babs? Actually surprisingly helpful. For an evil entity that keeps whispering, Kill them all, in my ear, <laughs> over and over again. Damn it, Babs. Me, uh, should I be worried? I'll just keep your door locked at night and you'll be fine. He's trapped in there, it's fine. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for that a long time. Oh, so you think you are a prankster now? Oh, I'm a pro at pranks. Just ask Strange. If you ignore the sense of demonic gloom lurking in the flames, it's almost like we're back in the workshop at Avengers Tower. Almost. You seem quite occupied here. It's good. It's really good, actually. If I can keep myself busy enough, 
I think I can keep the darkness at bay. Good, good. You three have been at it for a while. I am curious to see what comes from all your hard work. I don't want to spoil the surprise, so I'll just say it's going to be worth the wait. Yay. It turns out all I needed was to get my hands on a decent set of mass spectrometers and to be reunited with those two. I miss them. I don't want them to hear. Their egos are big enough already. I will leave you to finish whatever it is you are working on here. Right, I'm gonna talk to Caretaker and Agatha. They're out here somewhere. Ah. What are you guys doing here? Do you know where you're standing right now? Where yes. Agatha died? It was oh. the place where I vanquished your mother. Oh, this is what this crater is. And made the ultimate sacrifice doing it. So it would seem. The details aren't the issue here. I tried my best to prepare you then. But now I understand how I failed you. I isolated you trained you to become what I wanted you to be and I lost you because of it you did what you thought was right what you thought I needed to do to survive but you didn't you didn't survive you died alone all because I made you believe you were no more than a weapon but you're more than that more than the hunter you're the only child I had ever will have just promise hmm. me i won't lose you again alive dead slaying a renegade dragoon Ping -fang -fum. i'm not going anywhere i will haunt you for the rest of your years you will not be able to get rid of me oh hunter how i love you and I you. God, I don't think I've been this emotional in years. Well, I ought to let you get back to your night. There's an abbey full of people who are waiting for you. Best to get to them before it gets too late. I already watched a movie night, with them, it's fine. I'll see you in the morning. Agatha, that was a nice moment between you two. It was. We love you like our own child, you know. When you... passed, we were inconsolable for decades. We never wanted you to have to make that sacrifice. But you were always the kind of person who would die so the rest of us could live. Made the loss even harder to bear for us. You made so many sacrifices to put Lilith to rest then. I'm just sorry you have to go through it all again. Hmm. I do not mind sacrificing myself for others. I know. That's what makes you so special. Besides, if I do die this time around, I know you will be waiting for me on the other side. And I will be, if it comes down to that. But I don't think it will. Why would it be any different this time? Because everything is different now. You we have the Avengers and the Midnight Suns. You have friends who will fight by your side. I did not have friends in my last life. And some X-Men. I'm glad you got to live and again to make them. The friends you made here won't let you die this time. You cannot assure that. No, not for sure. But I like your chances. Just remember how loved you are, and that will get you through. Sick. Time to go to bed. Cinematics. Oh. 
mother. Why did you not tell me, mother? The decision to sell my soul was mine alone. I never wanted to make you feel responsible for the sacrifice I made. But you did it to save me. A mother would do anything to protect her children. I am no different. I love you, child. I'd do anything for you. All I ask is for you to make it all worth it and stand by my side. You know I cannot betray those who have grown to trust me. I thought you might say that. I just want you to know that when you fail, my offer will still stand. Rude. Do me no favors, mother. Why won't you accept how much I love you? I know you believe it, but I fear your love is a poison. Oh, child. The world is poison. I am its antidote. D disagree. You cannot stop us, mother. Disagree. I will face you. You always have. Disagree. What? Oh, I'm wearing a jacket. Tower bells are ringing. <laughs> My favorite childhood prank. Rock roll. But I have not heard them in so long. Caretaker must be wincing right now. Oh, maybe this was her idea of a joke. I am done with all this mysterious secrecy business, and you have Very got cool. to get over it. Too. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Great. Sometimes I even press Spicy myself. blow. What have you brought me to do? Oh, this artifact. Cool. So, like, Captain America Ghost Rider. Range Deadpool Stark Deadpool Always a pleasure. How goes it, Hunter? Tony and I have been researching this god killer as best we can. We've been limited by what's available to us here in the Abbey. I should hope you have found something by now. Well, um, the fact of the matter is that I have. It's a bit troubling, to tell you the truth. I really need to double-check my findings. There are a few more scrolls I should consult. If you are not ready to share information with me, then I trust you to let me know when the time is right. I appreciate your confidence in us. However, I fear the time may never be right. Perhaps I should tell you now. Hmm. I suspected this blade had a connection to Cathan, but I didn't realize how uh, intimate that connection truly was. I'm not sure I like where this is going. I feel unclean even saying these words, but the God Killer wasn't just made to fight Cathan, it's made of Cathan. I'm sorry. This is somehow worse huh? than what I was expecting. Could you repeat that? The ancient texts tell of Cathan's last appearance in our plane when the forces of humanity assembled to drive him back. And in doing so, they sliced off part of the Dark God. That part was lost to the ages. Until now, it has resurfaced, now forged into a weapon. The God Killer. Incredible. Part of me feels we should throw it into the forge right now and wash our hands of it completely. 
If this is truly made of Cathan's being, as you say, then not even the demon-haunted fires of the forge will make a mark on it. That's what I'm afraid of. I feel drawn to it, like it wants me to pick it up. I suspect you're the only one who could do it. Every attempt I've made to touch it has not gone well. What happened? I knew it. I knew you were holding back something. I had intended to consult with Hunter privately before telling the whole team, but yes, now you know. I suspected it was part of Cathar. You don't normally encounter daggers that immediately make you feel like you want to throw them far out to sea. But if you feel like picking it up, go on. I can feel the power of it, rising and falling, like it is breathing. I could use something like that as a nightlight. A weapon mm -hmm. like this is not to be trifled with. I think we're very lucky that Red Skull kept it buried away as deep as he did. What, was he socking it away for a rainy day? He probably thought he could use it to kill Lilith. This world's only big enough for one psycho narcissist tyrant, I guess. And now it is ours, and let nothing stand in our way. Of course. Never mind. I'll knock it off with the mysterious stuff. Just come out and say what's on your mind. It's entirely possible Lilith could have an entirely different use for the God Killer. She could use it to complete Cathan. Well, that changes things. Hunter, I need you in the war room as soon as possible. Oh, wait, I'm not done here. Wait, no, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to help, Hunter. Hello. Do you remember the bell? Good shit, magic. Kiddo, when you were younger, I could barely keep you out of that tower. Yeah, which Peter girl? to ring those damn things. You don't know how Agatha. close I came to cutting them down. What brings you to the library at this hour? In your reading about Cathan, have you come across anything about a weapon made from a piece of his body? This is about the God Killer, isn't it? It is. You already know what it's made of. Why are you so interested in knowing more? I feel a connection with it. Well, the hilt and your collar were crafted by your ancestors. Yes, but it is the blade that glows when I come near it, almost as if it recognizes me. It recognized you? Yes. It, it seemed to respond to my presence. Curious. I wish I had an explanation for you, but I don't. Since Strange learned of the Blade's more than disturbing origins, I've been doing more digging on the subject. Well, I haven't come across anything specific about the God Killer or its apparent tendency to illuminate, I did find one hopeful nugget of information about it that should come as some comfort to you. Oh. Please continue then. I could use all the hope and comfort I can get. There is reason for both. You see, if Red Skull kept the God Killer as a means of double crossing Lilith and protecting himself from Cathan, he was wise. According to the texts I've been reading, only Cathan can kill Cathan. Hmm. If that blade really is made from him, it's the only thing in all of creation that can destroy him. The question is, are you sure you're up to taking your mother's life in order to end Cathan's? Because the God Killer now makes that possibility very much a reality. Oh. Yes, even if it means sacrificing my own again to do it. I hope with all of my soul it doesn't come to that. Yeah, but it might. But I must prepare myself for the possibility that it will. That I will die. Do not give up hope on yourself, on a life you might get to lead. 
You have made friends here, and I know they care about you. There are so many reasons to live. And that is why I must do everything in my power to fight for them. Even if it means I will not experience them myself. If there's one thing I love about you the most, it's your kind heart. It deserves to go on beating. I do not. What? Oh, yes, you do. Like you said, you die for them. That's what your ancestors would call love. They would be proud. You, my dear, have the weight of the world on you more than ever now, and it shows. Perhaps getting some rest while you still can is in order. And you, Agatha? Do spirits ever rest? Not this one. Not until I know every single soul I care about is safe. Okay. Where'd Peter go? There he is. A favor. Join a hangout with Peter Parker. Daddy, no. We're almost there, kiddo. Finish what you need to finish while there's still well, time. This is it. I will let you know when I am ready. This is the final mission. Once you start, there's no turning back. If you're ready, well, this is it. This is it. 